All right, welcome to module three. In this module, our expert will teach you about the actual page design process. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to be using Wix to create this website homepage today. We're going to go through the whole design process so you can see how it works to start with a template and replace everything and make it your own. But I want to remind you before we get started that it's all basically the same. Whether you go and use Weebly or Wix or a drag and drop builder inside of WordPress like Thrive Architect, the basic workflow, the basic functionality is always going to be the same. Sometimes the terminology might change, where the buttons are located might change, but the vast majority of what you're doing is not super unique to one platform. So you can apply what we're doing here today to pretty much everything. So we're going to start here with Wix. When you choose to create a new website, it gives you a couple of categories to choose from. We're going to click on business and it brings us to the Wix ADI versus the Wix editor. I do want to mention Wix ADI is pretty cool. I mean, it's basically a robot that spits out a website for you. However, we're going to go through the actual design process here. So we want to go with choosing a template for the Wix editor, the uh, standard old fashioned way. Now I actually like this one right here. This is a nice one. Uh, we're going to go with this one here. Don't worry about the image. I'm not saying I like the image because we're actually going to change that. I just like the layout of this one. If you wanted to, you could click view and that would show you a big demo of the web page and all or the website and all the pages. We're just going to hit edit, which will bring us right here to our new template. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. It looks like this is for life coaching, personal life coaching. Everybody is a life coach these days. Today we are going to be a men's health coach. Okay, men's health coaching. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change, well, we'll leave the name the way it is. There's nothing wrong with the name, Alan Johnson. We'll go ahead and change this to Men's Fitness Coach. There's that. And then down here, we're going to delete this. I don't think we need that. We're going to grab this button, bring it a little bit further down. As you can see, it's just drag and drop. You're manipulating what's already there just manipulating the uh, the templates. We're going to paste the words men's health coaching right there. Good. And now we need an image back here. Now your best friend with web design for imagery is going to be a good stock photo site like Adobe stock. Okay. Like Adobe stock. There's plenty of them out there. I like Adobe stock because you get some good bang for your buck. Let's go ahead and type fitness man since we're doing men's health coaching and we'll just grab this one here we're going to click license that'll download in a moment and while that's downloading we're going to come on over here back to the editor we're going to work on changing this background image so we're going to click on change strip background and it looks like our image just got done downloading down there, we're going to come over here to image, and then that'll bring us to our media folder. We're going to click on upload media, upload from computer. We're going to grab that image and we'll give it a second to upload here to Wix for us. All right, so that's in there now. We're going to hit change background, and there we go. Now, one thing that we want to do with a background image if we have text in front of it is always going to be change the opacity. So let's go ahead and increase the color behind the image to white and we'll drop the opacity oh, down to about 60%. That way you can still see the image, powerful image, right? Gets the point across, but the text sort of pops out uh, quite a bit better. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's drag things around a little bit make this button a little bit bigger. That's where our clients can book their appointments, right? And then we're going to come down here to the about me section. And I don't see any reason to change this photo here, but obviously you would in real life. Now I've pulled a, a Martha Stewart here. I've already got all the text that I need for all these different text elements on this page. Control V, put that in there. I have a passion for serving my clients and meeting them exactly where they are in regards to their health, etc., etc., etc. You can pause and read that if you need to. It's just something I made up. And then I want to add two more things to this page. I think it's a good idea to add two things uh, that sort of detail to people how they're going to 
uh, deliver the service. So I want to create one thing that says step one, nutrition, and then another little row that says step two, fitness. And we're going to have some powerful images behind each of those as well. I'm going to come over here, click on this bottom footer area. We're going to bring that downward a little bit for some empty space. This is just the default background that came with the template we're using, so we can ignore that. Don't worry about that. And we're going to add a new row, which is actually just called a strip, a photo strip, here inside of Wix. Grab this, and we're going to replace the image first. Now what we want is an image here of food, okay, nutritional, healthy eating. So let's come on over here, let's type that in. Actually, before we leave these results, I think we're going to end up using one of these later. This one here looks good. Now let's come and look for uh, uh, healthy food. See what we get from Adobe Stock here. Lots of good images we could use. This is actually making me hungry. Let's come on over here and grab uh, this one here. Give that a few minutes to download. Come over here back to the editor. And let's get ready to change this background image just like we did earlier. We're gonna come over here, click on image. And just like last time, we're gonna come up here to upload media. We're gonna grab that image from our computer. And we might as well grab both of the new ones since we'll be using that other one later in the step two strip. Give that a few seconds to upload and there we go so let's grab this one we'll click change background to insert that background has been changed now let's close this and we are going to replace this background with just white just white good and we'll find that text again We'll change the color of the text to black. And let's go ahead and call this step one. Oops. Nutrition. Drag this so it fits a little bit better up here. We'll take this paragraph, bring it over here. And I've got this pre-written already over here as well. Copy this from my notepad file. Come over here and paste that there. And I think that font could be a little bit, a little bit bigger. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get rid of the read more button because we don't need that function right here, right this second. So that's one strip done. We'll click down here on the footer, give ourselves some room once again. Drag this baby down here, and we'll click here, and we'll add another strip to the page. This time I think we'll do sort of the opposite. We'll put the text on the left, and we'll put the image on the right. So here we go. Drag that footer area back up to the bottom of that strip come over here we'll change this text here to step two fitness and just to make sure we're staying relatively consistent here we'll make that all caps just that so it fits so step one nutrition step two fitness we don't need this little icon here, although it is cool. We'll bring that up here. And grab this paragraph. Place it right here. Give ourselves some room for this next pre-written snippet that I'm going to put in there. Control V. 
core of this program is fitness. Together we'll work to assess, etc., etc., etc. And then we'll come over here. We'll change the column background image. We'll hit settings. Oops, not settings. Excuse me. We'll go to image first. And we should already have that image in our library. We do. Change background. And now we've got the weightlifting image right there next to step two. So I think that's a pretty cool men's health coaching website. Here's the fundamentals. You get a template. Again, this works whether you're using Thrive Architect or any other WordPress plugin. Works if you're using Weebly. Works if you're using Wix. And all you're doing is coming in, you're changing background images, changing foreground images, changing names, titles, paragraphs, headlines, all that good stuff. That's all you're doing in web design. All right. Less than 1% of web designers will ever, ever, ever engage in the practice of creating a website literally from scratch. Almost nobody does that. You don't need to. You have these awesome tools that we just mentioned, including this one, Wix, that allows you to just create fantastic looking websites without any need uh, for actual coding or any of that good stuff. So let's click over here to preview and let's see what this actually looks like without all the web design interface stuff. So this looks pretty good. This is a good looking website. I'd hire this guy. <laughs> so as you can see, web design, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Guys, you don't have to be, this is a, a common misconception, you don't have to be a web developer to be a web designer. With web design, all you're doing is front end stuff and making it look pretty, making it convey the necessary messages that you need to convey in business to your site visitors. So that's about it. Keep that in mind. No web development. If you're doing web design, you just want to be focused on front end stuff. And there's a lot of tools that help you to do that, including WordPress plugins and builders like Thrive Architect and standalone web design platforms like Wix and Weebly.